What's up everybody? Thank you for tuning to this video where today I'm super excited to talk about the beauty of baptism. So yesterday, December 10th, 2017 was a really big day, not only for me, but for the thousands of people who watched me get baptized at Bay Area Community Church. Now, like, I didn't realize how important baptism was until yesterday going through it and seeing like what happened after it and like what's going to happen now because of it. Um, for all of you who don't know, baptism is an outward expression of your inward faith. So it's not something you do to like receive like um, salvation or to like be accepted by Jesus or to go to heaven or anything like that. It's just me declaring to the world that Jesus is on the throne of my life. I aim to live every single day trying to become more like Jesus and to become a better Christian, a better disciple and showing that to everybody so that everybody knows that they can hold me accountable to it and that um, I can hold them accountable to it and that we can grow together as brothers and sisters in Christ. And so yesterday was my baptism. Now the thing is usually you get baptized soon after you accept Jesus to come live in your heart and that he is your savior and that he died on the cross for our sins. Um, but that for me happened like um, years ago, like in middle school, um, I made a full length testimony video about like my testimony. So I'll put a link down below so you can check that out. Um, Cause that really has like an awesome message as well. But um, talking more about like the baptism part, like, so I had baptism several years later. And like when I was thinking about getting baptized like a month or two ago, I felt really weird. Cause like usually you have where you accept Jesus Christ as your savior and then you get baptized like shortly after. And so like, I feel like at my church, like I'm known as the high five guy, so they all know me. Like I feel like I was like already supposed to have been baptized and like it'd just be weird coming out now. And like, it was really just me focused and thinking about me and like how it would impact me and how it influenced me and like that kind of thing. But after doing it yesterday, I realized that it's about more than just me. And it's just like, amazing to have that understanding and that experience because now that I think about it, you know the reason? Like God had a plan for me like the whole time. Like that's the crazy, that's the awesomest part about all this is like he had a plan the whole time. Like I didn't get baptized soon after like I accepted Jesus into my heart because I was not the high five guy yet. And I don't say that to like bring glory to the high five guy or anything like that, but it's because now I'm using the high five guy for God's glory and now he has a greater purpose for like when I was gonna get baptized. So like I had been saved, like I was already like a Christian, like I had salvation because of Jesus, because of that prayer that I did with my mom, that realization, that faith statement that I said years ago. But it's only now that I declare it publicly because there's this opportunity for me to impact the thousands of people every day who know me as the high five guy. Um, after getting baptized, like I got out, like I was excited, I was like, high fives for Jesus, which was just fun to do. But like after that, I was walking up the aisle and like everybody was giving me high fives and I just got like, like I only had like a like I had a handful of amazing people who were there with me when I got baptized up there in the front. People who were really important to me, really important to like me coming to this realization that I need to be more declarative in my faith um, and it needs to be more obvious. And so it was amazing to have those people up there. I thank them all so much. Um, but like going like after walking down the aisle and like getting all that and like being out in the foyer and like everybody coming up to me knowing that me as the high five guy like that was awesome. Loved your message. Congratulations. Like seeing like how many people came up to me like usually you would just be like those people who are with you up there they were like really like proud of you supporting you like you'd get facebook lights whatever but like the fact that like i had so many people come to me saying that they felt encouraged and things like that i realized that the reason i hadn't been baptized for so many years is because god was waiting for this moment to influence and inspire and encourage thousands of other people which i had no idea about but it was just like amazing because like this is all for god's glory which is the coolest part of it all and what was even cooler too is like Right now at church, we're going through like a series called like, or um, I don't know what it's called exactly, but it's like, who will you crown or put on the throne of your life? Who will you put on your heart? Will it be you? Will it be like wealth, fame, all that stuff? Or will it be Jesus? And so like my testimony just like fit perfectly into that message for Sunday morning. It was just like God planned it all out. It was perfect, which was really cool. And I had no idea. Like I had the whole time been thinking about like what baptism meant for me, but had, you know, just not thought about what it meant for everybody else. Cause really this whole world is about not ourselves, but like about God and like bringing his kingdom and having us come to know who he is. And like, it was just crazy awesome. So that was amazing. And then not only like did I have an amazing opportunity to like share with people and get baptized, but I, I as you know, I love bow ties. So I actually have a bow tie related to baptism now. I walked out and I was walking down the aisle uh, the owners of the Wall Chapel Chick-fil-A, uh, the Smiths, um, the wife gave me, she was handing out, she was like, I'm so glad my husband remembered today of all days 
to give you this. So I got a new Chick-fil-A bow tie, which I'm just excited because I have so many bow ties, but like not many of them have amazing stories. Like I have some that were from like the international students that I befriended last year. They all felt like so touched by like my like gifts for them for Christmas that they went and bought me a bow tie. I had um, now this bow tie that is like connected to like my baptism day. Um, I had a shirt that I had everybody who was like a part of like my realization like sign which was an amazing thing but like this is even better because I just love bow ties. And then not only did that but I got this bow tie yesterday um, from a somewhat new but close friend of mine and it was just really cool to get the note along with it and just like to see like how I don't realize how much like my energy like my passion and my excitement and my joy just like come off to people I, I take it for granted but like when I get cards like I did yesterday and like have the opportunity to get baptized and see how it infects people like I'm just like God thank you so much for blessing me and making me who I am because like I remember like back in middle school like I didn't really like who I was and things like that but like it's just amazing how God has like shaped me into who I am today and like all the things that he's done so it's pretty awesome so I was really excited to get the bow tie um, and I just got to hang out with people who are awesome and stuff like that and so like for me it's just like that realization that like this baptism was so much more like it was just something bigger than me and that was just amazing and so that's why I share about that baptism and like I'm excited to share about it and not to talk anything about me but like just encourage you all to like think about who God is who is on the throne of your life I mean if you're not even a Christian then like just think about like yeah who Jesus is who do you think he is because I'm listening to another series from North Point Community Church who I love and they're talking about the question is like if you didn't grow up in the church um, like where do you start now like you start with the biggest question the most important thing which is who do you think Jesus is and so that's really like the question and for me I think Jesus is my savior and he's the one who I want to have with me every single day trying to become more like him and to learn to be loving to others and just have an amazing time and you know the other thing that like happened for me yesterday too which was really awesome was like my dad um, my mom and dad got married and my mom was a believer and my dad was uh, when they got married I don't think they were but like my mom was a believer and my dad wasn't at some point in the marriage um, and over the last years like my dad has come to know Jesus and you know he's been really involved with the church and like that kind of thing um, he's part of the parking staff and all that and you know I never really heard him talk about like the gospel or like talk about the Bible or anything like that I know he went to Bible study but like kind of felt like he looked like he was doing what I was doing which is doing things but not necessarily being a part but yesterday when um, the our uh, head pastor prayed for me um, he actually like pulled me close to him and wanted to put my arm or his arm on my hand and like that's when I realized that like he's not it's not a surface faith for him either like it was just like an, a comforting feeling to know like I don't know because like I'd always had a doubt like I don't know why but I always had a doubt that like he didn't really have like true faith but like when he pulled me close and like I was just like yo I'm so excited like this is amazing this is like they could be better of a day um so that was awesome I just there was so much joy yesterday and not really because of me but because of like all the other people that were there and just like all the other people who get to have an impact and like getting to talk to people it's just so so amazing so if you guys have any questions about anything as always christian related non-christian related school travel whatever i would love to talk to you about it um you want to talk about bow ties this is 148 149 uh it's like actually 147 148 149 is the airplane one that i just got in the mail which i'm super excited about too but that doesn't have a cool story so um with all that being said guys if you have any questions again always or you just want to be friends i'm more than willing to i would love to hang out with you um hit me up but until next time high five <laughs>